Hi, this is Rob. Here is our first problem. Go to the catalog by pressing the second button, then the catalog button, which is the zero button. When you open the catalog, the TI-84 will be in alpha mode, which means that the next button you push will activate the green letter on the upper right of that button. We need to go to the solve function in the catalog. Press the S button to go to the start of the S's in the catalog. Arrow down to solve. Here it is. Make sure that this black arrow is pointing to it and press the enter button. To use this solve function, we need to set our equation equal to zero. If we minus an 8x on both sides of the equation, that will give us this equation. Now enter this equation. 2, parentheses, 5, the x button is here, x minus 2, close parentheses, minus 8, x. Now we have to enter a comma. Then enter the variable that we are solving for, which is the x. x, enter another comma. Then the TI-84 requires us to take a guess at the answer. Don't guess. Just enter a 1. Close parentheses. To get the answer, press the Enter button. The answer is 2. x equals 2. I want to show you what happens if you get an error message. I'm going to copy this and paste it down here. To do that, just move the up arrow to that function. That function is now highlighted. Then press the Enter button. I'm going to delete this one, which is our guess. Now I'll press the Enter button like I want to solve this equation. Here is the error message. Syntax error. You want to go where the error is located, so press the 2 button. Then the cursor goes to where the error is located. This error, we need to input our guess. So the two most common errors are forgetting to put the x and forgetting to put the guess. Here is problem number two. Go to the catalog by pressing the second button, then the catalog button, which is the zero button. Press the S button to go to the start of the S's in the catalog. Arrow down to solve. Here it is. Make sure that this black arrow is pointing to it and press the Enter button. To use this solve function, we need to set our equation equal to zero. But as a reminder, if you're getting any value from this video, please give it a thumbs up. It lets YouTube know that I'm doing a good job. So subtract a x over 10 on both sides of the equation. Now we have this equation. Enter a parentheses, negative 9, use the negative button here. Close parentheses, squared, the square button is here. When square and negative numbers in the TI-84, you need to put that negative number in the parentheses. If you don't, you will not get the correct sign in the answer. Minus the absolute value of 23. Minus, to get the absolute value, press the math button. Right arrow to num. The absolute value is number 1, so press the 1 button. Enter a 23, then right arrow to get out of the absolute value symbol. Plus, parentheses, negative 3, use the negative button. Close parentheses, squared, minus, parentheses, x divided by 10. Close parentheses. It is a good idea to put these fractions in parentheses. Comma. Enter the variable that we are solving for. We are solving for x. Comma. Enter a guess to the answer. But don't guess. Just enter a 1. Close parentheses. For the answer, press the Enter button. There's the answer x equals 670. I will press the clear button to clear the home screen.
Here is problem number three. Go to the catalog by pressing the second button, then the catalog button, which is the zero button. Press the S button to go to the start of the S's in the catalog. Arrow down to solve. Here it is. Make sure that this black arrow is pointing to it and press the enter button. To use this solve function, we need to set our equation equal to zero. Now we have this equation. Enter a four, press the exponent button, enter a six, press the right arrow button to get out of the exponent area, minus six, exponent six, right arrow to get out of the exponent, plus parentheses, x divided by 11, Close parentheses. It is a good idea to put these fractions into parentheses. Comma. Enter the variable that we're solving for. We are solving for x. Comma. Enter a guess to the answer, but don't guess, just enter a 1. Close parentheses. For the answer, press the Enter button. There is the answer. x equals 468,160. Here is problem number four. Go to the catalog by pressing the second button, then the catalog button, which is the zero button. Press the S button to go to the start of the S's in the catalog. Arrow down to solve. Here it is. Make sure that this black arrow is pointing to it and press the enter button. To use this solve function, we need to set our equation equal to zero. So, do a minus 13x plus 4 on both sides of the equation. You should combine the terms that are easy to combine. Combine the negative 20 with the plus 4 to give us a negative 16. Now we have this equation. Enter a 3, parentheses, 5x, the X button is here, plus 4, close parentheses, minus 16, minus 13X, comma, enter the variable that we're solving for. We are solving for X, comma, enter a guess to the answer, but don't guess, just enter a 1, close parentheses. For the answer, press the Enter button. There's the answer, x equals 2. Okay, that is it. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and please subscribe to this channel.